Hi and welcome to The Venture. I'm Susie Daphnis and I'm here with Robert Gerrish and Valerie Koo. With the advent of mobile technology, there's pretty much an application for anything. But today we're going to be looking at mobile apps specifically for business. Tell me some of your favourite, favourite apps. How long have you got? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you a couple that, um, that I love. There's one called Idea Sketch, which I must say I really enjoy. It's a mind mapping um, app. And it's very similar to, I know, um, Valerie, you use Bubble Us. So it's very similar to that. So it's a, just a means by which you can get ideas down in a mind map format. And I find it really valuable. If I've got sort of 20 minutes, I'm sitting somewhere, and I've got, you know, as often happens, my, I, my head starts sparking off with lots of ideas. I can capture them really nicely and clearly on this little application, Idea Sketch. So I put down in the center what my kind of theme is, and then I put down all the various thoughts around it. I can immediately email it off to somebody. I can save it as a PDF. I can keep it as a JPEG. It's just a great way, great thing for capturing ideas. And often I'll find on the way to a meeting, I'm thinking of mm. key points I need to get across. So again, I'll just use it to jot those down. Very nicely, very smoothly designed, very easy to use. My son started using it for his school projects as well. It's a great little app, definitely and good one. One of your favorites? I would say a task management tool called Things, which you can use on your phone or your iPad or your desktop as well. So it's basically your to-do list, but it's very, very powerful. And it syncs between all your devices, but it's powerful because you can also store an email or attach an email to a task. So, Or you can also store files within a particular task. So you don't have to go searching for, oh, that email I need to answer, or oh, I need to you know change this Word document. You can actually store it within the actual task. So I find it really useful because you can create folders for different projects. You can schedule it so that it can remind you to do this task Great. tomorrow or the next day or whenever it is or in two months' time. So it's just, it's really useful. Things, it's called. Um, on the same kind of thing, but not things, <laughs> um, I like Google Apps because I can use it on my desktop, yeah. but I can also use it on my mobile device. So if I've set up a Google um, document or a spreadsheet, in the cloud or online using Google Apps, I can also get on my iPad and change that document, add more to it, add collaborate mm. online across those. And, and I do use Google Apps quite a bit. Love I Google Apps. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Well, th yeah, another one of my favorites is Dragon, Dragon Dictate. I think the whole kind of voice recognition software is just come on in leaps and bounds. I remember using it uh, about five years ago, and it was painful. Um, well, not Dragon, a different brand then on, on a Mac. But um, Dragon Dictate as, a, as an iPhone app is a terrific little application. And I'm finding if I've got an, uh, an article that's sort of that I'm needing to write that's kind of in my head, or I've got a particular um, a number of thoughts that I want to get down, but I want to email them to somebody, I can just wrap it away into Dragon Dictate. It's very accurate. might take me a couple of seconds to correct a couple of words, and then I've got it. I've got the text, and again, I can email it off. I can do what I want with it. But very, very good little app. If you want to get some kind of instructions over to somebody, but feel that you don't want to voice record it, you prefer to have it in writing, very, very easy to use. Lovely little bit of software. And you found the accuracy quite good. I found it exceptionally good, yeah, really exceptionally good. Yeah. It must be an accent thing. It doesn't understand yes, me. It is, doesn't it? <laughs> well, there you go. I think it is. A, I think it is a male sort of British accent thing because even really? the, Have when you struggled I, with it. Well, a little bit, yeah. And okay. I, I find the same when I talk to my car, and I then I channel a, a British male, and then my car understands me. <laughs> Interesting. It's true. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Using a channeling app, yeah. no doubt. Um, one of my other favourites is Skype. Again, available on desktop, obviously, but I, I have used it uh, on my phone. And when I want to make a phone call and I don't want to um, make an international call from my mobile or my iPad, I'll just use um, the Skype call out function and do it very, very inexpensively or just Skype. And I do that quite a bit because we have, you know, task, um, sorry, staff members um, in the US. And so it just makes it very affordable and very effective. Mm, great. Mm -hmm. Another one I use is um, Jotnot, which is this little scanner. Uh, very, very useful if you've got documents, agreements that you wish to scan, rather than just taking a photograph of them. It does take a photograph, so it works, again, through your phone's uh, camera. But then it tidies it up. It gives you little kind of corners that you can move around. And it, it really creates a very sharp. Um, scan of, of, of any kind of document. I find it really, really useful, Jotnot. 
Sometimes I use JotNot in conjunction with Evernote, which is an app I cannot live without and I use every day, multiple times a day. So Evernote is great for note taking and it's great for research and for you to create different folders of different aspects of your business or different projects. But you can also email, like I could take a photo of, of, a, of a menu or of my notes mm -hmm. or, or of or of Robert, and I can email that directly to within a folder within Evernote, so I under, so I can you know use it later on in a blog post or something like that. But sometimes also I'll scan a document using JotNot, and I'll be able to email it directly to Evernote. Just love Evernote, and again it syncs across all your devices and all your computers because it's in the cloud. Mm. One of my um, favorite ones because I use Facebook and I use Twitter quite a lot for business, um, is the way that it shows up within the actual Facebook app or the Twitter app, I feel is quite limited. And I've come across an app which uh, is called Flipboard. And what it does is it lay out, lays out all the posts in a magazine style. So it pulls in a photograph and a quote and mm. um, it's just beautiful. So it makes that experience like flipping a magazine. So you actually do that, you swipe the iPad and it changes to the next page. Um, and it's just a lovely way to display. You can also post from there, but it's more a way to read what's been going on. So mm -hmm. quite often at the end of the day, if I'm sitting and I want to catch up on what happened that day, I'll sit there and I'll view it through Flipboard. Yeah. Love Flipboard. <laughs> you use it as well? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. What do you think are the key aspects of these apps that we really like that make them effective for business? Oh, I think it's the design. I mean, they're, they're just the, the apps that succeed are the ones that are just uh, effortless to use. And you look at them and you go, oh, you know, why didn't I think of that? Um, and they're few and far between. I, I, unfortunately, I, I think there's, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands mm. of apps there are now, but an awful lot of them are very clunky. And I've, I certainly, you know, every now and again, I'll download, download some more just because I think, oh, it's about time I downloaded some more. <laughs> um, but, they're, uh, but then prove to be not very useful because they've not just not been thought through from a design perspective. But I think a cleverly designed app is, is, is just wonderful. And if it, if it really genuinely makes things easier and quicker for you, then terrific. I mean, I think when everybody gets their first kind of smartphone or iPad, you tend to go a bit crazy and <laughs> get loads of apps. Um, and then you get a little way into it. And you, I, I would imagine of mine, probably 75% of the apps I've got I've, n I've never used and probably never will use, but there's two or three or four that are real standouts, and it's because they do exactly what I want them to do. You know, I use another one called TripView. I travel a lot by bus. Um, and it's, it's wonderful if I want to know where my next bus or my next ferry or my next train is. It's, just, it's a gorgeous little app. You know, before you'd have to be frigging around trying to find all these various answers to timetables and, you know, but all in one place, it sucks them all in, you tell them where you are, you tell them where you want to go and bosh. You know, there's the, it's just fantastic. Mm. So, you know, there are obviously a lot of apps, there's apps in a lot of categories, but when it comes to business, we've shared with you some that um, we really like. We're going to put all the details right here on the website. If you've got a favorite app that we haven't mentioned, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us here on The Venture, and we'll see you next time.